linear combinations of normal variables, multiplying variables. Previous videos have already covered the following. We have two independent normal variables. If we add them together, we add the mean of x to the mean of y, 10 plus 50, so you get 60, this is the new mean, and the variance of this normal variable x plus y is 2 plus 3. We add variances. The normal variable y minus x. So to work out the mean, it's the mean of y minus the mean of x. So 50 minus 10. y and x both have a variance but we don't subtract we always add variances so 2 plus 3 gives 5 so this is the variance of the normal variable y minus x we always deal with variances and not standard deviations so if standard deviations are given convert them first to variances by squaring and then add variances adding variables of the same type so the mean of x plus the mean of x 20 each one has a variance which is 2 add the variances 2 plus 2 to give a variance of 4 this variable is not the same as 2x x is multiplied by 2 here. This is what we go on to next. And this and this are not the same. To give this a context, assume that x represents the weight of a packet of crisps. x1 plus x2 is the total weight of two different packets of crisps. However, 2x is just one packet of crisps, but its weight is doubled. So these are two different items, but this is one item which is doubled. Example 1. Bags of peanuts have weights which are normally distributed with mean 50 grams and standard deviation 2 grams. Mean 50, standard deviation 2 and the variance will be 2 squared 4. So here is our normal distribution for the weights of peanuts in a bag. The normal variable 3w is not w1 plus w2 plus w3. These are not the same. This represents three different bags of peanuts. This one represents three times the weight of a single bag. We're multiplying here and here we're adding. So the mean is 3 times 50. The variance will be this value squared times the variance here. So 9 times 4. So working out the mean is simple, but for the variance, this multiplier has to be squared first and then you multiply with the variance to get the new variance. So 3 squared times 4 to give 36.
5w, so 5 times the weight of a single bag, so for the mean, 5 times 50, and for the variance, it's this value squared times the variance here. ten times the weight of a single bag. So ten times the mean, so you get the new mean, and ten squared times the variance to get the new variance. Example two, we have two normal variables, A and B. So A plus 2B will have a mean of 60, that's the mean of A, plus 2 times the mean of B. And the variance will be the variance of A plus 2 squared times the variance of B. three times A plus four times B. So the variance is three squared times seven plus four squared times five. three B minus four A. So for the mean, 3 times the mean of B minus 4 times the mean of A, minus 120. For the variances, we always add. So 3 squared, because we're multiplying, 3 squared times the variance for B four squared times the variance for A. Two times B minus three times A minus ten. So this normal variable will have a mean which is two times the mean of B minus three times the mean of A minus 10 giving us minus 110 and the variance 2 squared times the variance for B plus because we only add variances and never subtract 3 squared times the variance for A. And the minus 10 has no variance. So the variance is 83. Example 3. Three items A, B and C each have weights that are normally distributed. We want to work out the probability that the weight of A is more than double that of B. So this is what we're working out, that A is more than twice B, double that of B here. So all the letters need to be on the left hand side, so if we subtract 2B from this side so we get A minus 2B, subtracting 2B from this side so we get 0. So A minus 2B is our new normal variable and we need to work out the mean and variance for this normal variable.
So we would do something like this. And to calculate the probability, we use our standardizing formula. And this is the value that we're standardizing. So this value here represents the x here. So it would be 0 minus whatever that mean is from here. That goes here. And we always divide by a standard deviation. And you'll have a variance at this point. So this value goes here. And you have to square root it to get the standard deviation. And so on. In this example, A is a single item, and B is also a single item, but we've doubled its weight. These are not two individual items from B. It's the same item with its weight doubled. Part 2. C1 plus C2 represent two individual items from C, and this is their total weight. Yeah, the total weight of two separate items. And we're saying, what's the probability that a single item from A weighs more than the total weight of these two individual items from C? So we need all the letters on one side. So this is the normal variable that we need to work out. So you work out its mean and its variance, and then you can use these values to calculate any probabilities.